Hello everyone and welcome to Soul Stay Me. My name is Beth and I am here today to try to organize this mess. Alright, so I know I don't normally do videos like this, but here lately I haven't been normally doing videos. So I mentioned to you guys a few weeks ago that I was going to be moving and I now have. So I have this shelf to try to fit my books on. I have these three shelves and then there are three more underneath um, to fill these plus eight more boxes of varying sizes. And there are other books scattered throughout the house and other boxes. And I still have more books at my parents' house waiting on me to move them. But they have shelves that will come with them. So there's that. I've been here for four days now and I'm just getting to this because I needed to set up the living room and I'll do like a walkthrough of the house for you guys at some point if that's something that you would be interested in. Right now it's still pretty much a hot mess. Uh, but my mom brought me my coffee pot yesterday when she picked up the girls for the weekend. So I have the energy to try to tackle this. And I thought you guys might be interested. Um, that, that's it. That's all the lead I got, guys. Let's get started. So like I said, I have eight boxes of varying size over here. And these just got pulled out of boxes and put on the shelves. I'm not sure where anything is, what anything is, or where I'm going to put them. Because it's my life, y'all. Uh, but we're going to start up here. Oh, okay. So this whole section is Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys Super Mysteries. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever read them, but these are like... I don't know, upper YA, they were billed as adult uh, kind of cozy mysteries, and they kind of are. It's Nancy and Bess and George and Frank and Joe as their older-ish, uh, 18 to 20, 21, somewhere in there, I think. It's been a long time since I read these. Uh, my mom collected all of them, and uh, she gave all of our Nancy Drew books and Hardy Boys books to my seven-and-a-half-year-old daughter, who has them in her room, but these I got to keep, so you probably didn't care about that, but uh, there are a whole bunch. I will worry about putting them in order later on, but that's exciting. I unpacked them over here the other day and forgot I had them, so that's awesome. I even have this... Uh, show tie-in book. My mom owns all the seasons of both the Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew original television shows. So that's that's my mom, y'all. You think I'm nerdy about things? I inherited it, honestly. All right, so we'll just put these on the top shelf. They're a little fragile. Some of them are, you know, 30 years old. My mom's been collecting them for as long as they've been coming out, and I've got multiple copies of some of them, but I remember reading these things um, when I was in probably fifth or sixth grade, maybe younger than that, because I've always had a higher reading level, so we've, we've had them around. Oof, messes, guys. Everything is messes. This is why I don't do videos like this, just so you know. I can't be that cute girl with the perfect hair who's expertly and effortlessly making a video with <laughs> without making a mess. Broke my crystal jars. That's beautiful. Oh. There those are, anyway. Wow, apparently I didn't move a dustpan with me, but no worries. I got it all cleaned up, and we're good. So there's the Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys books. We will be back. Oh. Apparently I didn't get it all cleaned up. That one was just ready to break it, must have broken up there when it fell. We've got Nancy Drew and Boys there. So, all right, here are my George R.R. Martin books. I'm going to set those to the side for now. Got the whole currently published set of Game of Thrones, plus the Ice Dragon, plus a Game of Thrones, the first graphic novel. If anyone wants to get me, like, the rest of the graphic novels or, you know, whatever else he has out, that would be fine with me. Um, but anyway, moving on. See Fangirl, Into the Woods, City of Ghosts. Great book if you haven't read it, you should. Even if you don't like middle grade, I bet you'll like that one. Uh, St. Lucy's Home for Girls Raised by Wolves. I also love that book. Let's see. The Shadow of the Wind. I'm going to set this one aside because he passed away yesterday. Carlos Reese Stefan, the uh, author, passed away of cancer yesterday. He was 55. Um, I'm going to reread this. It'll be probably my third or fourth reread. But yeah, I'm setting that one aside. I have the first three books in that series, the Century of Forgotten Book series. The fourth book was released last year, I think, but I haven't gotten it yet. So I'm probably going to hop on that real quick. Um, I have several of his, uh, I have his trilogy of middle grade books that I read last year for middle grade May. And um, I need to pick up Marina and then the final book in the Cemetery of Forgotten Books series, and then I don't know what else he has out, but I'm going to end up owning all of them. I believe I've read everything except the short story that's only for Kindle. I don't usually read Kindle books, uh, but I'm going to make an exception and get that one as well. Uh, so the shelves that I got these books off of were in three different areas of the house, and the big bookshelf that had most of these was separated into adult, young adult, and then like middle grade and books I've already read but I want to keep, but I just kind of got them in a box real quick because I know I was moving in a week and needed to get that taken care of. Oh, but this is my seven and a half year old when she was a baby baby. She cute. Okay, so I have all of these like antique books, uh, one of my dad's little spiritual biblical studies books that he wrote and published. They're on Amazon. Go check them out. Dr. W.J. Tyree. Um, he goes straight biblical studies. So you don't have to worry about what your actual affiliation is or if you have one. He just lays out what it says in the Bible, which is pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, so I don't actually know what's in these stacks other than the fact that I mostly know what books I own. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I've forgotten about a lot of these like 101 artists to listen to before you die. Let's see. The Smashing Pumpkins, one of my favorites. Mo's Death, another great one. Oh, and look at this artwork. You see that? I love these. Um, it's, and it says, active since 1994, he has class. The Frank Sinatra of rap, elegant, cultured, with an above-average savoir-faire. It can be raining, and his suit won't get either wet or creased. He's perfect. Um, this is by Ricardo Cavallo and No Brow Publishing. Sent this to me a few years ago. Uh, I use it in music class. Sometimes when we had extra time, we would be like, all right, whew, 
This one says Daniel Johnson. Let's check it out. Oh, this one says Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers. Let's see what they did. So that was a lot of fun. Completely off topic, but there you go. And then an unreliable history of tattoos. This must be my no brow and stack. My no brow and stack. My no brow stack. Um, yep. These are my favorite illustrated graphic novel uh, biographies of Einstein, Freud, and Marx. I use them in class as well. The parts I could. Some, some of the books were a little racy. Uh, but I like to set those up kind of stacked because they're a little tall for most shelves. So, and they're pretty cute. I have kind of stacked like that, put a little stuff in one, whatever. Um, oh, the Get Along Game is going in my daughter's room. But does anybody else remember the Get Along Game? I loved these guys when I was a kid. Giants, Monsters, and Dragons, Folklore, Legends, and Myths. This one is going in my bedroom with my desk. It's one of my research books. So we'll throw that over here. Um, sorry that I'm just talking to you guys like you're my friend sitting on the couch watching me go crazy. I will fast forward this so that what you hear is. But let's see. Classic children's books. They'll go in the baby's room as well. School history of the American people. That's nifty. That might actually go on a shelf in my classroom. So I'll set that to the side. Where'd you go, Bernadette? Over here. I know that you guys are seeing these and you're going to be like, oh my gosh. Okay. I'm not going to stop supporting Harry Potter because I love the series. And I know that some of y'all are going to get mad at me, but I am going to get the illustrated editions of all the books because I want them. That's pretty much it. Um, I do not support her views. Like to begin with, I was trying to figure out why people were so mad because biologically speaking, you know, don't, don't get angry with me because trans women are women, trans men are men. Okay. I get it. I agree with that. If you feel like you are a woman who was born in a man's body, by all means, transition, be who you are, love your life. That's amazing. And I applaud you for having the bravery and strength to do it. However, until I did research and actually found what she said and talked to some people that are smarter than me on the subject, I was confused as to why people were angry with her because specifically speaking to your DNA, if you were born male, it does not matter what pills you take, what surgeries you have, what you wear, how you identify, your DNA will still be that of a man or of a woman if you were born vice versa. Um, so strictly for medical purposes, you know, your doctor needs to know, hey, I transitioned because there are things that might happen to you as a trans woman that would not necessarily happen to a born correctly, okay? If you were born incorrectly, you should have been a woman instead of a man and you fixed that, but there's still gonna be some issues. So that's like, that's where I was standing, like, you know, I'm like, that makes sense to me. And then I did more research and found out all the other crap she was saying. And I was like, hmm. never mind. But I love those illustrated editions of Harry Potter. I'm going to get those. I will probably not be purchasing any other Harry Potter merch or anything that would be going back to her unless I find it secondhand. And I'm going to be looking for those secondhand as well. Uh, just saying, if I can't find them secondhand, I'm going to purchase them firsthand from Scholastic uh, because I want them. I need the set. That's just how it's going to be. Uh, but I do not agree with or approve of what she's saying or how she's saying. Just be aware. And moving right along, but losing fancy free. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. My six of crows duology with the pretty straight edges. I love this. Well, throw them right there. Let's see. My illuminates. Gina. They're so pretty. Let's see. No. Let's see what else could go there and be pretty because I am completely redoing my setup so everything is fair game. Oh, Professor Mickey Mouse tells you the answers. Fun to know, 35 cents. I don't know what year this is from, but my grandma or my great-grandma gave it to me a long time ago. 72, this is from 1972. So they had it somewhere or they found it somewhere and gave it to me and I have kept it forever. So we'll pop that right there. What would look pretty? Oh, a Court of Thorns and Roses, which I started, got a couple chapters into, was enjoying it. And then I don't know what happened, but that was like a year and a half ago and I still haven't finished it. Uh, so if I should finish it, let me know. Cause at this point, who knows what I'm doing? All right, let's get a new box, shall we? We shall. All right, so what I did is not turn the camera. How about I turn the camera? You can see, oh, there's my living room. And here's my boxes. Oh, there were a whole lot more. Oh, that's just a beautiful, here's my cat. Okay, beautiful view of my stomach area there. Look at that. Okay, so what I did when I was packing was I did like the bottom of the boxes and then I packed a bunch of stuffed animals. And you would think that the Care Bears were my daughters, but no, all the Care Bears in the house belong to me. My seven-year-old refuses to watch Care Bears because it's something mommy loved when she was little and she thinks it's outdated, uh, but that's fine. Also, this is mine. And it's going on the wall all year long. We'll set it here for now. Okay, let's see. This is my adult shelf looks like. Um, ooh, Jim and the Holograms and Faith. Oh, you're down there. Jim and the Holograms and Faith. Um, I really need more Jim and the Holograms. My Skullduggery Pleasants, I don't have all of them. Uh, I have the first six books and my Amber some of them and I haven't gotten them back yet. So there's that. Oh, Prisoner of Heaven and The Angels Game. Those are the other two. Uh, books in the Cemetery of Forgotten Books, and then here's the trilogy, um, Prince of the Mist, Midnight Palace, and The Watcher in the Shadows, which has a different name in the Spanish version, um, something about like midnight in September or something like that. 
um, and my night circus. So still not a big pretty book to go next to Court of Thorns and Roses, but I love unpacking because I get to see all my pretty books. Here is the summer I saved the world in 65 days, which is Elizabeth. Hey Lizzie, Elizabeth from Lizzie Faye Loves Books. We did a like summer book exchange thing. Stack them up, stack them up. I'm gonna have another huge crash here in a minute, guys. Fair warning. Some of these are like books I got from Outrate that I still haven't read. I'm not big on YA, so I have all these YA books that I either bought or I got in like Outrate, and then I went, I don't know, I'm not really interested in that anymore. So it's not the best at that. Oh, my little black pillow. Throw that in the living room. I have a giant six foot couch that makes me super happy. Oh, Dino Squad. His name is Phil. That's the baby because she's baby size. This guy hasn't worked in like 10 years, but they don't ever sell them anymore. You see, you could press his foot and he'll go, because he's Bumble. And Bumble is the best character in Rudolph. I will fight you for that. All right. We have more Tana French. Not sure where I set her. So I will just throw them down here now. Strange the Dreamer, another one I've started and never finished. The ones in Teacher King, I really need to get to that. Oof. The Good Girl's Guide to Murder. It's not tall enough. Shoot, it's so pretty though. I need to get to that one too anyway. Vampires in the Lunar Grove. Can't put it there because it's another Karen Russell. Mm. Goodness gracious. It'll be like my longest ever video and nobody's gonna watch it. Because it's ridiculous. Oh. It's not gonna be tall enough. You know, it's close. I like it. Moving on. Okay. Let's see what the next shelf has in store for us. Oh, na, na, na. Another series I want to reread after I reread the Cemetery of Forgotten Books. This is Marie Brennan's Natural History of Dragons. And I believe there are actually five books in the series. I only have the first four. And I don't think I ever read number four. Um, I had heard about this when it first came out and was super excited about it. And the guy I was dating at the time bought me the first two that had them on my wish list. And then I think he may have bought me the third one and I had to buy myself the fourth one because he cracked out at that point. No, he didn't really. We just broke up. Um, but it's a great series. And I think I bought number four and then got super busy at school and never read it. So hopefully after I get done with Cemetery of Forgotten Books and probably re-listening to Marina or just buying my own copy because that's going to happen. I really can't afford to right now that we just moved, but I'm honestly not caring at the moment because, yeah. Um, anyway, I, I love that series. If you haven't read it, it's pretty nifty. Let's see if I can find my other ton of French. Haha, the bottom of the pile. Nip! Well, it's going to end badly. Aha, it did not end badly yet. Yet being the operative word here. All right. Here we go. Found French. Boom, bam, bang. They're so cute. Okay. Let's see. Play books, middle grade books, play books. Let's find the other adult books. My brilliant friend, has anybody read this? I haven't read this yet. I bought it a while ago because I was really excited to read it and I haven't read it yet. And every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, I need to read that. And then I just kind of don't. So that's a thing that happens. And I know that I preach it all the time, but if you haven't read Aunt Dimity and you like cozy mysteries, go read the Aunt Dimity series by Nancy Atherton. Go. Right now, I don't want to hear it. I don't care. Go do it. Put Karen Russell up with no brows. It's frightening. Uh, go with these. Actually, I know myself, and I'm not going to be able to stand these being in the middle and then the shorter books on the end. So eventually, I'm going to have to come back in here and just straight up fix them. But I'm just trying to get books on the shelf kind of approximately where they need to go right now. So that is what is happening. I still haven't read Caraval. There are some of these books in here that I'm like, I don't want to take books to my classroom library unless I've read them. I don't really want to read these. So do I want to put them in my classroom library or do I just want to go eh, and get rid of them? But then that makes my heart hurt to get rid of books. So I don't even know anymore, guys. I just, I really just do not know. Another thing is that I now have a tip muffle who's already trying to walk and gets into everything. And she's going to be running around over here, just all sorts of into it. So I'm either going to have to leave the bottom couple of shelves empty, like I need to hear because she's tall as snot, um, or I'm going to have to just make sure she doesn't pull them down. Just probably what's going to happen. Uh, but she was trying to help me unpack boxes the other day, pulling books out and going, mom, mom, mom. So we'll, it's never going to work. And we'll plop my Outlanders up here. Just stack them up. They're never going to fit. No! I swear I only had two cups of coffee today. Mm -hmm. I guess it'll work. Not going to work if I can't fit the books. Sigh. Oh, I can't fit my hair. Doesn't make much sense, but that's fine. It's fine. I do it. Next circus can go up there with them. Look how pretty. Just he is so pretty. All right. I still have those shelves, but you know what? Right now, this is a 32 minute video of me wandering around and chattering at you. So I think what I'm going to do is cut it off here and I'll edit it and, you know, speed things up. And hopefully I can get this down to a decent length. 
because you guys don't need to see me running around like a chicken with my head cut off for half an hour. Um, but I will come back if you guys are interested. I will come back after I get this all put together and show you what they look like. I will definitely be posting pictures on Instagram. So if you don't follow me over there, I'm kind of a sporadic poster there like I am here, but I am at writerbaby13, W-R-I-T-E-R-B-A-B-Y-1-3. -E um, so definitely go follow me there if you want to see pictures and then let me know in the comments if you would like me to do a walkthrough of the house once I get everything organized and set up and if you would like for me to do a quick video of my shelves once they've been set up. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. I hope you have enjoyed my extreme idiocy as I am trying to get these set up. Um, and I would love to hear from you down in the comments below. Um, I will talk to you guys later though. I hope you have a fabulous weekend because today is Saturday and I hope you have an amazing week next week. If I don't talk to you, um, I will see you again soon. Bye.